Hello and welcome back to Dialog Editor with Graphview. Yay! Alright, so last time we dropped off, we were. We have just made the save edges function. Alright, wonderful. So next, let, let's make the save notes function a method. This is C sharp, so it is called a method, not a function. Remember that, young boys and girls. Anyway, so we need to go in and find all the. Oh, sorry, my bad. Ah, thinking process failing. All right, so we need to go in and find all the safe data we have with under the dialog um, dialog container. We're gonna find all the dialog node data we have and clear it because we need to make room to save it. No, we, we want the new information we're saving to overwrite the old one, so we're just going to delete the old one we have. And we, of course, want one for the event nodes and one for the end, end nodes, and of course, one for the starter nodes. There we go. Wonderful. Alright, so here we need to find out, we need to go through each of them. Uh, I'm gonna show you some different ways we can do this. We can do it for each loop, where we go through all the nodes. Uh, let's gonna go base node. I just call this node. However, we can also go like this dot node, then type for each, and then go node to explain it, and do it like this. As you can see, both of those are using the node as this example. So uh, you can go with each of those. It doesn't matter which one it is. It will go through each of the nodes. But here we're just gonna go with this one this time, just because uh, it's uh, a new kind of node thingy. Uh, again, you just choose the one that makes sense for you, of course. So we're going to go and make a switch case here. We're going to put the node into it. All right. And then we're simply going to ask the switch case if it is a dialog node. So is this a dialog node? And we're just going to name it dialog node, but of course a small one. And we're going to call it break. So we, of course, need to save the dialog node here. But right now, we doesn't, we don't have the function for saving that dialog node. Of course. So let's just uh, let me just go down a little. Uh, da, 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 da. So and uh, sorry, I'm just checking my notes. Uh, yeah, let's do this. All right. So we of course need to make a function. That is called save node data. Data. So it's save node data. However, it's actually going to return uh, the one specific type uh, it's saving. So um, this one would be dialog node data. It will be returning. It will then receive a dialog node. Just gonna call it dialog node with the underscore. And let me just see how it does it here. Uh wonderful. So we're going to make a dialog node. And just call it oh yeah, it's dialog node data, my bad. Dialog node data. And we're just gonna call it dialog node data equals new dialog node data. And we're going to fill out the information in here with it, of course. And then we're going to say, uh, come on, return. Why won't you? Oh, it's because we need to end this. And then go return. Ah, there we go. All right, so we're going to return this, of course. Here we go. So how exactly are we going to do this up here? Well, we need to save the data we get, so dot 
dialog new data and we of course going to send save this and we're going to throw in the dialog uh, note here and that is of course this one up here so we're going to throw that one in and in the oh yeah it's because we need dot add my bad so what are we exactly doing here well we are going into the dialog node container and finding the dialog node datas and then we are adding that one and what exactly are we adding well we are adding the node data because we are sending the node through here so it's going to get the dialog node here where we of course haven't said what data it needs to save yet but when we have said tell that what to save it's going to return that one up to the add function so let's actually tell it what to save first so first we need to tell it to save um, you know save it's actually uh, how is it called it's a uh, note going good let's actually just just tell it to be note because that's a lot smaller so we're gonna go note gun so now that is saved good then we of course need its position so we're gonna go underscore node dot position and that is uh, get position dot position it seems a little weird that we need to tell it to get the position and then actually give it its position but that is how it is done next up we're gonna go uh, text type and that is called equal node dot uh, we call the dust text so that should just be it right yep good then we can go name is equals node dot name all right uh, what more do we have we have the audio clips audio clips equals underscore node dot audio clips um, we have the the face type and that is probably equals underscore new dot face type and we have the sprite which equals new dot uh, face image let's see we have saved the text the name the auto file the type and I think this is it let me just quickly look at my notes mm. oh yeah 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 completely forgot about this one so we of course also need to save our uh, dialogue pot I'm gonna forget about that dialogue dot dialogue pot here we go wonderful and then we also need to actually save the data for our um, dialogue ports so we are going to go for each um, the uh, dialog data here dot dialog ports and we're just gonna call it a uh, node pod and it of course is a dialog uh, dialog node pod and f under there we're gonna go uh, for each oh if I could spell correctly for each edge that is of course a edge in edges here we go so if that edge dot output uh, output equals the north port dot my port there we go so 
what we're doing uh, right here, let me just go fast go through it. We are going through each of the uh, dialog node ports, meaning when we go in here and press here, we are adding a port for each of those. So we're going through each of those ports here, and then we're checking each edge, and we're checking which edge that's actually connected to this port. That is pretty much what we're doing. So, if those are connected, we need to actually save the data in here. So we need to save those two here, right here. Let's go back and go north port dot output equals uh, edges dot output output dot s basic and we need to put that into inside a, a pant pante <laughs> I can't pronounce that correctly inside brackets uh, not the brackets oh I can't remember what this is called now but inside this to do dot and not GUI to tell it which uh, what we call it uh, which node it is connected to in the output and we need to do the same thing just with the input now we're just gonna do input there we go so we are now uh, telling each node port which port is connected to and which port uh, it is of course connected to so now we have saved all the data we are going to return it uh, up here and add it to the dialog node data and I think we're going to end the video here because my voice is hurting a little. So see you in the next one.